Far too often, tragic stories of violence in schools, in communities, in places people consider safe, jar us from our daily routines. One group in Connecticut is working to prevent such crises by opening doors of communication, understanding, and acceptance among middle and high school students. Through award-winning Camp Anytown, the National Conference for Community and Justice has taught thousands of youth how to create inclusive schools and communities. They learn tools for creating a community where residents don't just tolerate, but celebrate each other's differences. The Hartford Foundation is thrilled to support this program to empower our future leaders and community builders. The first time I went to Camp Anytown was in May 2009 and my experience was really eye-opening. I was seeing different aspects of where people came from in their lives and everyone's past experiences and their backgrounds. The first time I went to Camp Anytown was May of 2009. I went because my teacher um, had recommended me because I had been interested in human rights and creating a safe community in my school. It was unlike anything I had imagined. There was a community that was instantly built where people just felt so safe with each other, felt like they could talk to someone, even if they didn't necessarily have the same views as the other person. I was definitely shy at first because at the time I was a pretty shy person. Um, but I got to talk to and get to know people that I normally wouldn't talk to and that definitely helped me open up in the long run. My favorite experience from camp was the privilege walk. It's when the whole camp lines up in a straight line and they're asked to hold hands and then they're asked a series of questions to assess what sort of privileges they've had. A series of statements are read and they pertain to a person's social identities such as race, gender, orientation, class, and if the statement applies to you, you either take a step forward or backward and it helped me see where I was compared to where everyone else was in society. And it shows you that just because when you're looking at someone, it doesn't mean that you know what they've gone through and what they've had to deal with on the basis of things that they can't control. Recently declared my major as uh, a social worker because my experiences at camp have showed just that so many people have gone through all of these different experiences. It pushed me to want to be someone who can be there for people and be there especially for youth who are going through things or have gone through things that they need help with. My change was that I ended up talking more. I was shy before, but now I'm a bit more outspoken. I still am sort of quiet, but now when I have something to say, I'll definitely say it. I'm taking away from camp every time that I go, past experiences. Um, learning from other people definitely helps me a lot and helps me relate to people that aren't in camp. And it definitely helps me talk to people and open up more and see how they see everything in their daily lives compared to how I see them. The experience I've had at Camp Anytown has definitely helped me going into the new space, going into college, because you hear people saying things that you may not agree with and have views that are different than you, but camp has really taught me to keep an open mind, and although I may not necessarily agree with what someone has said to me, it's important to keep that open mind and have a discussion with them instead of automatically coming to assumptions. I would say to the people that support programs like this, what they would want to do would be to incorporate youth more because they're going to be the next generation and if you want to see a change in the world you can't make it yourself so always get those that are willing to learn and willing to step up to help you make the change that you want to see There are over 17,000 adults in Connecticut prisons as many as half of them are parents with minor children Losing a parent to prison can have a profound impact on a child, dramatically affecting his or her future. Tragically, the children have a significant chance of following the same path as their incarcerated parent. Trying to break that cycle in Connecticut is the Judy Dwarin Performance Project. Using the arts, children and youth reconnect with their parents, meet other children who share the same experience, find inspiration and support, and add a measure of stability to their disrupted lives. I moved here from New York because I came from Jamaica pursuing a education in child psychology. My husband, Ainsworth Brown, is incarcerated at the, presently at the Osborne Correctional Facility, um, has been given a 10-year sentence. Um, hopefully he'll be out soon. 
That's how I got involved with the Judy Doran program because um, we signed up to get on board to go visit him just to keep him abreast mentally because you know sometimes being incarcerated and not having the support as a, of a family you know it could mess you up real mentally. Here we are on Puzzle Island. Well, Puzzle Islands, really, because Puzzle Island actually is a group of small islands all connected together, just like a puzzle. Amani wasn't dealing with the fact that dad was absent. Um, being very attached with his dad, you know, he didn't understand what. So the program really helped him to open up emotionally, helped me because I didn't know what to tell my four-year-old child. The Puzzle Islanders, as you have heard, have had some real puzzles in their life. After all, the island that they live on is a puzzle. And one particular puzzle for them is because they have had or have a parent who has gone away to prison. I came to Puzzle Island because I thought my missing piece was here, but it wasn't. So I stayed to find it. And did you find your missing pieces eventually? Yeah. Um, my dad came out of jail and he came to visit us on the island. I say he's incarcerated. Three years I've been battling what to tell him. I usually just tell him that he's at a place where they're sent to learn a lesson. So eventually the program got him to realize that his dad is incarcerated, is he's not the only one, and it's okay because he'll, you know, he's away but then he'll be back. And for my daughter, um, she came on a board when she was five years old. It really helped her. Can you stand up and let me know why you came to Puzzle Island here today? Because I can have fun. How did you get here? By running. Was it hard for you to get here? No, because I'm learning. I was two months pregnant when he got incarcerated, so she doesn't have any relationship with her dad. But, you know, it helps her to understand that that is the way she's excited for him to come home and she goes to see him. Can you tell me about your missing piece on the island? My dad. How does it make you feel that your dad's your missing piece? Sad. I tell him that I want him to come home. My son is open emotionally. No longer is he, you know, detached, daydreaming all the time in class where the teachers have to say that they don't know where, you know, he is mentally. But I see where Alana is naturally a rambunctious person, but Amani who's me quiet. He tends to internalize stuff, so that get him to open up and realize that I'm, I'm so happy to see that. You know, I know where he's, I know that he's gonna come home soon. It helps us to not think about our dad or mom in prison and help us to understand that they're coming back soon. For every human, we're all about, you know, being accepted, being a part of. So talking to other kids with the same issue, it doesn't make them feel alienated. Like, okay, I'm in a world where my dad is incarcerated. It's shameful, you know, it's embarrassing, it's humiliating. They don't feel like that. They feel like, okay, this is what it is, and there are others like me, and it's okay to open up to them and be a part of what this program is all about, which is just learning to adapt. It's really has done a lot for me personally, where I feel satisfied where they are now. Instead of complexes, I know that they are looking forward to a bright future and to be mentally healthy, that means a lot to me.